Speaking for the first time, the man San Jose police shot after a late night brawl in a popular restaurant. He's now filing a lawsuit and says he was actually the hero. Here's NBC Bay Area's Damian Trujillo. The shooting happened on March 27th at what the locals here call La Vic. Tonight, Kayon Green and his lawyers say the city has to pay. Surveillance video shows the chaos that led to a police shooting in the early morning hours of March 27th. Kayon Green says during the brawl, one of the men pulled the gun and Green wrestled it from him. Then as he tried to head to safety, he was shot by police. I remember looking at my hands and it was blood all up. I just keep seeing it. I keep seeing it. I keep seeing it. I keep seeing it. So that's all. That also hurt too. My leg. My leg too. Are you able to walk on your own? No, I need a walker. That Mr. Green posed at a time when he was doing nothing short of being a hero. In a virtual news conference today, Green was emotional as he spoke publicly for the first time since being shot. And his attorney announced a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of San Jose. Early March 27th, officers had just responded to an unrelated murder blocks away involving a gun. When the call at La Vic came out, responding officers rushed in on reports of a man with a gun. In the days that followed, San Jose's police chief said that's all police knew when they encountered Green carrying a gun at the restaurant door. The officer knew that the person coming out of the restaurant was holding a gun and pointed it at others. Police claim Green ignored repeated commands to drop the gun, and that's when an officer fired, hitting him four times. But the lawsuit disputes that, saying the officer shot without warning or reasonable time to comply with demands. This hero was met with bullets. And that is why we have filed a federal civil rights lawsuit on his behalf. Green says officers then kept him cuffed to a hospital bed as he recovered from the four gunshot wounds. It hurt it to be treated like a criminal when all you wanted to do is save you and your friend's life. Legal analyst Stephen Clark says a 20-year-old football standout at Contra Costa College does have a case here. His football activities and dreams of pursuing a career in sports are on hold for the foreseeable future as he recovers. I'm in pain. I'm hurting inside and out. You know, it, I told my parents, you know, and it's, it's our reality. It hurts to be shy. But the real pain didn't come until all my teammates came to see me and I couldn't walk out that door with them. We asked the city and police department for comments. Both said they cannot speak about pending litigation. Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.